Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to do a OS system level backup and restore using the free RescueZilla app. So we've used RescueZilla in the past to do uh, hard drive cloning, so it works very well for that. So we actually have a video on that if you want to check it out. But now we're going to show you how to use it to make system image backups of your computer. So that way it backs up, you know, Windows, all your apps and all your files. And then if you have some kind of failure or something and you need to restore it, you can restore back to that date and time. So one thing to keep in mind with these system image backups is that they're only as good as the date they were created. So if you made one six months ago and your computer dies and you restore that system image backup, it's going to be back the way it was six months ago. So anything you've done since then will be lost. Unless, of course, you know, you're backing up your files, which you should be doing anyways. All right, so if we go to File Explorer here, so we have our C drive, which is about 40 gigs used. And then we have this data drive where we're going to be doing our backups. So if we go into there, we're going to be putting it in this image backups folder. So here's our first backup. So if we go to the properties, you can see it's 27 gigabytes. So less than the 40 that is being used right now. So the system image backups will not be quite as large as the total amount of space used on your uh, Windows drive. All right, so what we need to do now is boot to the RescueZilla ISO file. So you're going to need to make a bootable flash drive or even a CD or DVD if you still have one of those. And then you can boot to it. So I'll put a link in the description to some tools you could use to make your bootable flash drive. So there are many options out there, you know, such as you know Rufus, for example, one of the more popular ones. All right, so I'm going to turn off this computer and boot to the RescueZilla ISO file, and then we'll start our backup. All right, so when you first boot, you have this little countdown. So if you don't press a key to stop the countdown, it'll pick the default language, which should be correct to begin with. All right, so we'll press Enter here. And then we'll do the first option to start RescueZilla. Okay, so you might get this black screen and it'll pop up with a message in a second here. And that is because if you're using UEFI instead of BIOS, you might see this message. So it's nothing to worry about. You could just get past it once it uh, pops up here. All right, so here's the warning message here. EFI stub failed to measure data for event one. So like I said, don't worry about it. It'll just kind of go away on its own there. You could try pressing escape too to get past it. All right, so here is our main screen here. So I'm kind of recording at a low resolution, so it's kind of big on the screen here. All right, so here's the clone option, but we're going to be doing the backup option. So we're going to pick this right here. All right, so now we need to pick the drive to back up. So you need to know which is your C drive or your Windows drive. So I know mine is this 80 gig drive, so it should be the first one. And it also says Windows Boot Manager right there too, so that's a giveaway. All right, so we'll click on Next. All right, so now select which partitions to back up. And like it says, leave all partitions selected if you are unsure, so you should leave them all unless you have some secondary, you know, storage partition that you don't want to back up. You could probably uncheck that one. All right, so we'll click on Next. And where do you want to save it? So here is our 100 gig backup drive right here. So this is the RescueZilla ISO file right here. So you want to ignore that. So that's the one we want. All right, trying to mount the drive. Okay, so now we need to browse and choose the folder that we're going to use. So here's that image backups folder that you saw. And here's first backup. And then you could also create a new folder if you want which you'd probably want to do back here, maybe, if you don't have like a backup folder. All right, so we're going to choose our backups folder. And now here it's showing us what it's going to back up. We'll click on Next. All right now we'll give it a name. Call this one Second Backup. All right, we'll click on Next. Then you can change the compression format if you don't want to use the GZIP default here. 
and the compression level if you want to have a faster backup or a smaller backup. You can do that. We're just going to stick with the default, so we'll click on Next. All right, so here is our summary. So all the partitions we're backing up, the compression format we're using, and then where it's going. Click on Next. All right, so now it's going to perform the backup, and then you have some options for when it's complete. Do nothing, shut down, or reboot. So I'll just leave it on do nothing. And so I'll pause the video and then be back when it's finished. All right, so the backup is complete. So it took 16 minutes, so it wasn't too bad for the 40 gigabytes or so that we had on our C drive. So let's go ahead and click Next. All right, so now we're going to go back into Windows and see what the backup file looks like, and then we'll do a restoration. So let's click on here, go to Shutdown, and then Reboot. All right, so we're back in, so let's check it out here. Here's our second backup. Let's check the properties. 26 gigs, so it's about the same size as the first one. Here are the files within it. All right, so now what we're going to do is change the wallpaper here. add a new file on the desktop. All right, so now we're going to restore to the backup we just made. So after we do the restoration, the blue desktop should be back and this file should be gone, proving that the restoration worked. All right, so once again, we're going to have to boot to the RescueZilla ISO file. So we're going to do that right now. All right, pick our language again. Start RescueZilla again. And we'll probably get this error again, which we could ignore. All right, there it is again. So we'll just wait for it to go away here. All right, so now this time we're going to click on Restore to restore the image. All right, so now we need to pick our backup image, which is on our 100 gig drive. We'll click on Next. And you can see you can back up over a network as well. All right, so now we need to browse to the folder of that backup. So Image Backups, Second Backup. Okay, so here's our backup image right here. Load it up, ready to go, so we'll click on Next. Now we need to tell it where to restore to, so now we want to tell it to restore to our C drive, which is our 80 gig drive here. You see Windows Boot Manager, so we're overwriting the current installation of Windows, or the whole image, I guess you could say, with our backup. So we'll click on Next. We'll leave all the partitions selected here. So here's our summary, our source of our backup, what partitions we're restoring. Then it tells you it's going to be overriding the partition table. So we'll click on Next. All right, so now it's telling us it's going to permanently overwrite the data on our C drive, our Windows drive. So just remember it's going to do that. So we're going to click on Yes to continue. All right, so now it's going to do the restoration process. So we'll pause the video again and be back when it's done. All right, so the restoration is complete, and it took 21 minutes, so here is our summary. So obviously it's not going to update the Grub bootloader because we're running Windows. All right, so we'll click on Next here. Now we'll go ahead and reboot and see if the restoration worked. All right, so we're logged back in. So as you can see, we have our solid blue background back. We don't have the Windows logo anymore. And that file we created is also gone. So that tells us that the restoration was successful. And if we go to our backup folder here, you can see we still have our backup files there as well. We need to use it again, or we could even restore to the older one. So like I said, just remember when doing system image backups that it's only as valid as the date and times you made it.
All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download RescueZilla and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.